Okay, uh, class, uh, this is Mr. Corsi speaking. We are starting Adobe Illustrator today. We're going to follow the activities book on page 42. The activities book is the soft cover book. According to the book, Adobe Illustrator is the industry standard in vector graphic programs. Illustrator makes it easy to produce high quality graphics with minimum time and effort. Logo creation is one of its specialties, although the program can integrate with many other programs, as well as produce web pages. We've done Photoshop before. Photoshop is mainly meant to deal with manipulating photos. Uh, Illustrator is a straight up drawing software. Companies do it to design logos, websites. One of the special things about Adobe Illustrator that I like the best is you can sketch something on paper, ink it, scan it, and then uh, open it up in Adobe Illustrator and you can do the live trace and digitize it. And then you're able to just quickly color it, bring it to life on the computer. Another thing I like about Illustrator is you can either embed images or link them. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Adobe Illustrator is pretty cool. It has a lot of functions, a lot of extra tools simply for drawing. You can also use Adobe Illustrator to use like a pad that we have in class that you can check out and draw on the pad and it puts it on to your artboard for Adobe Illustrator. The next cool thing about Illustrator is it has multiple artboards which is like multiple screens you can put what you're drawing instead of just one box you can have like multiple so if you're doing a whole suite of uh, different designs that need similar color and and look, you can keep them all together in one Illustrator file. We're going to follow activity one, setting up the work area, and we're going to open up Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator, when you open it for the first time, it might, might take a little bit longer, but go ahead and open it up. It should be at the uh, bottom of your uh, dock. It's AI and it's kind of an orange yellow. It says uh, we're going to create a new file, so we're going to go to File, New. Next to Name, let's just type Practice. Sometimes it's a good habit to uh, name it when you open it and create a new one. That way when you save it already has it and you don't have to type it again. You can set the profile like if you're intending it to be a print or for the web or for video. You can go ahead and preset that. I usually leave that alone. Number of artboards. That's what I was talking about earlier. The number of backgrounds that you can have. You can have multiple that you can set up. We're just going to keep it at one at this time. Size, you can have letter, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. Orientation, landscape or portrait. Let's go ahead and change the units to pixels. So it's 612 points by 792 pixels. In this dialog box, you can change the document size from letter to a number of other choices. You can also create a custom document size. The orientation, can be landscape or portrait. You can also work in RGB color or CMYK color mode. Does everybody remember what the difference is between RGB and CMYK? CMYK is uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. RGB is red, green, and blue. Those are just the color mixtures that they use to show up on your document. CMYK is typically what you choose, especially if you're going to be printing it. RGB is primarily geared for stuff that's going to stay on the computer, like for websites and computer graphics. Most of the time we just leave it at CMYK. You can change the size of the paper through width and height. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can change the size of the artboard if you go Shift O. If you go Shift O, it goes into artboard mode and you can uh, click on these little anchors and you can adjust the width and height that way. Now another cool thing in artboard mode, watch what everybody look at mine. I can create another artboard. I can create another one here. When you're drawing graphics, anything outside the artboard when you export it won't show up. So if you want it to be seen uh, in the JPEG or GIF that you're creating, uh, it needs to be shown within the artboard. Now if you want to get rid of the artboard, you just click on that X. Like if you accidentally drew one or got too many or don't need one any longer, that's it. To get out of artboard mode, you can just press escape and there you are. 
you can also uh, change the color of the page. If you go File, Document Setup, let's say you're going to be printing this on blue paper, but you don't want it to print the blue. So you can simulate colored paper by checking that right there under File, Document Setup. And then you can click right here and let's choose blue. Now you can like specify like, with color sliders or whatever. Choose blue, click OK. And now you got blue paper. Now it won't print the blue, it's just simulating what blue paper would look like. Command Z to undo and get, get it back white. View options. On view options, you can change the size of the document. Uh, just like in Photoshop, it's very similar. You can change it in the lower left corner. Or you can use the navigator. Does everybody remember the navigator? Uh, you just go window, navigator, right here. Um, or you can get the zoom tool, press Z, or click right here on the toolbar. And uh, you can click to zoom out, hold down option. So zoom in and zoom out. That's exactly the same as in Photoshop. Now you got your status bar down here. You have five options that you can show. I'm going to leave mine on to show what the current tool is. Let's talk about screen modes. At the very bottom of your toolbar is change uh, screen modes. You got normal screen mode, full mode with menu bar, and full screen mode. If you press F, you can toggle in between them. So press F. Sometimes you want to have your full screen in as much room as possible while you're drawing. That gets you the full screen mode without a menu. Pressing F will allow you to toggle in between them. Thank you all for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.